Hi, just thought I'd show you my new 1987 Skidoo Dual Track Alpine. Towed it home last month from down south. It's in pretty nice condition. 1987, bought it from the original owners. Can you believe that? Here in my heavy duty trailer with my brand new Goodyear Dayton wheel trailer tires. Towed it home right here with this car. 94 Buick Roadmaster. Runs like a dream. Until this no problem. Also got some free windows in with the package. Figure why not? Windows are expensive these days. Got just over 6,000 kilometers on the clock. Game bought it from the original owners. Pretty amazing. November 1986. So that'd be an 87 model year. This is a two-track machine. I haven't had it out on the snow yet because the reason I got it cheap is because it needs a track. The other track looks okay. I actually have a spare track, maybe two, so I'll be taking all the boogies off, taking the gearbox shaft out, putting the new track on. Pretty soon, if not this year, then maybe this. Maybe the summer, we'll see. This is the only repair that's been done on it. They welded the this heavy duty trailer hitch on it. Everything else is stock. All old switches, ignition switch, box. It's even got these vents on the front. Real nice condition. For a long time for one owner. I'll pause it for a moment and take the hood off. There it is. The good old reliable 503 with the three speed transmission that is two forward, one reverse. It runs great. When I was getting it on the trailer, the pull start failed. It broke on them while they were pulling it. So I haven't decided I'm going to fix it. And they didn't have a battery, and the starter motor here cranked real slow when I put a battery in. They said I just put a battery in, it should work fine. And it more or less did. The electrical system works fine, but the starter needs a bit of work. However, I had I have a bunch of spare parts, among them a starter. I put the other starter in, in there. And boy, does it crank nice. I decided to put in a nice fat battery. It's not really there properly. I just just attached it for a moment to see how it cranks. I can probably get away with a garden tractor battery too. This little tiny thin one they give you, sort of useless. Well, it starts out pretty good. Well, they did tell me sometimes it loses suction and you have to prime it a bit more. Once it gets running, it runs. So if I, if I can just get around replacing the track as soon as I can, I'll have a nice machine. So, show the ignition. Give it a bunch of primes. This crank's real nice. Started right up. That's the smoke. I can hardly wait to get this thing together and get it out in the snow. A lot of fun. Look at this original vents. Everything's original. And when I took the starter off. I looked at the nuts and bolts, they're all shiny underneath. The starter has never been removed before. I'm the first. After what, 31 years? All the original buttons and everything. They gave me another extra starter. Unfortunately, this one doesn't fit, it's 180 degrees off. Maybe I'll sell if anyone needs one, maybe I'll sell it. We'll see. This is the fan grill. The only repair they had to do is the gear shifter. They replaced the ball with the trailer ball. <laughs> I actually have a spare one of these as well. I can substitute it later if I feel like it. It's just amazing. Makuni slide carb. As you see, all in good working order. 
Nice. I'll be sure and get another video of this when I get it on the snow. Having some fun going on in the lake. Nice hood. All the original decals, which are peeling a bit, but hasn't even been repainted as far as I can tell. 88. Oh, original battery cables. Probably original uh, brake pads, for all I know. Original everything. It's probably for the headlight. We touch the headlight. The light switch is frozen, so I have to take it out and unfreeze it. Uh, probably the lights will work too. Just amazing. Nice. And even this, this isn't welded on. It's to bolt it on so I can take this off if I don't want it. And have more room back here for other stuff. Grommet around the gas tank. See even got the grommet around the muffler down there. Nice condition old sled. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you later.